almost three times as many high school boys think that they can have a successful technology and computers career than high school girls. This is not due to a lack of ability or a different learning style. This is due to a lack of confidence in girls who don't foresee themselves pursuing a STEM career. So what is going on with our girls? Lack of self-confidence and self-esteem starts when girls enter middle school. They start experiencing negative stereotypes. They underestimate their ability to perform in math and science in spite of getting good grades. They do not want to speak up. They feel the pressure to be perfect. Three out of four girls worry about failing. And most of them are conscious about their body image. My experience with this issue started when my daughter was in middle school. And I wanted to enroll her into STEM programs. Even though my family has a strong background in engineering and technology, with both me and my husband in the technology field, I had challenges getting her motivated to enroll for STEM programs. I realized that this is an issue faced by most families around me. So why can't girls see themselves as scientists, engineers, or computer professionals? Because the girls do not want to be labeled as geeks or nerds. In their mind, only geeks study science, technology, and engineering. But girls can be artistic. They may even be girly girls. But if we can find women role models who look just like them, then the middle school girls will start seeing themselves differently. Based on the same premise, in 2012, I shared an idea about a nonprofit organization just for girls. The following year, we started Cool Tech Girls to expose girls between the ages of 8 and 18 to STEM at a younger age, so that by the time they reach high school and college, they would be aware of the different opportunities in science and technology. Women in the field of STEM came forward to be role models. Many businesses, institutions, and the community came forward to be a part of it. Over the last five years, we've seen that girls who are enrolled in the program, their participation peaks out by seventh or eighth grade. In spite of 500 girls participating and being actively involved with their programs. The high school girls are less inclined to participate in our programs because of a lack of interest in technology and the stigma associated with this profession. But we need these girls more than ever in tech jobs because only 24% of women work in science and technology even though they make up 57% of the STEM workforce. So we need to work with the 26% missing girls. And if we can work with the 26% missing girls, we could have parity in STEM workforce. And women CIOs are on the decline more than ever. Even among women who are in tech careers, we see issues with confidence levels. Sixty percent of women have a negative emotion associated with self-promotion, which is an extension of their confidence levels. Fifty percent of women are willing to negotiate for things like training, things to help their teams with increased FTE, but do not negotiate for salary, promotions, or sponsorship at the same level. So, what is the definition of confidence? The dictionary definition of confidence is a feeling of self-assurance 
arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. When I was asked to speak at this event a couple of months back, I started to feel nervous because I've never given such a talk. I look different, I talk differently, and I sound different from many of you in the audience. But I thought this is a wonderful opportunity to spread my message. So I raised my hand and agreed to be a part of it. So many girls and women are not raising their hand and holding themselves back. Recently, I read a book by Katty Kay and Claire Shipman called The Confidence Code for Girls. This book investigates why confidence code or confidence level drops so dramatically in girls at puberty and also teaches different methods of boosting self-confidence. I feel like this book can be a great resource for girls to boost their self-confidence. Being a co-founder of a global tech company offering IT staffing solutions, I am well aware of the technology carriers and benefits. I'm also aware of the market needs and the gaps in the IT staffing field. So what does the job market look like in the next 10 years? Employment in STEM grew much faster than employment. 24.4% between the years 2005 and 2015 compared to only 4% in non-STEM. Between 2014 and 2024, the projected growth in STEM employment is 8.9% compared to 6.4% in non-STEM. Women in STEM earned 35% more in non than in non-STEM, higher than 30% STEM premium for men. And gender wage gap is smaller in STEM jobs than in non-STEM jobs. So in terms of the job landscape, we're going to have more tech jobs. And people with low tech skills might be replaced with automation. STEM workers make about $30,000 more than average wages. We need our girls to be ready for the future. They shouldn't be left behind. We all have the power to make a difference. Tell your daughters and granddaughters that they can be both pretty and smart. Inspire them to try STEM courses. Connect them to a woman role model. Find a mentor to help them and encourage them to be self-confident. And when they do try STEM courses, recognize their efforts and celebrate their successes. We can all take the initiative to motivate our girls. Just like I started Cool Tech Girls Initiative, a grassroots effort, anyone in the community can fulfill their part in motiv motivating our girls. Connect them to a safe and comfortable girls-only learning environment where they can learn about technology concepts without the fear of failing. Encourage them to make mistakes. We are all here to pull them up. Thank you. <laughs>